Hi guys, welcome to my video and good morning. So for today, ang i-discuss natin ay blogging. So first, ano nga ba ang blog? Syempre, ang blog ay isa lang naman siyang website na gawa ng mga articles at ito ay depende kung ano ang topic na gusto ng blogger. So maraming topic na pwedeng pagpilian. So nandiyan ang food blog, travel blog, technology blog, um Business blog, social media marketing, at maraming maraming pang iba. So, depende yan kung ano yung gusto ng blogger. Para sa akin, sa ginawa kong website, ang pinili kong topic ay social media marketing, business, at ngayon, dinagdagan ko ng self-development. So, kung may kita mo, meron tatlong topic. So, bakit ko dinagdag yung ano? Bakit ko dinagdag yung... Self-development. The reason why I add self-development is uh, because um, if you are into business or if you are into uh, freelancing, social media marketing, so you have to have that personality. You have to improve yourself. You have to be um, at your best. So that's the reason why um, I added self-development. But if you look closely sa website ko, uh, meron isang topic na naliligaw. So, kung ito yung pang-apat na topic ko, travel. So, bakit ko dinagdag yung travel? So, um, the reason why I add travel is uh, because um, hindi naman tayo, ano eh, hindi naman tayo katulad ng ibang mga website dyan na sikat na talaga or bayad na talaga ng mga sponsor de Or ng mga sponsors, I mean. So, syempre, kumbaga, parang personal blog ko pa rin to. I still have the freedom to do with my own website. So, that's the reason why I added travel as a category. And also, my articles are here. Pero isa pa lang naman yung nakalagay dyan. So, going back sa ating uh, topic na, which is blogging. So, paano nga ba kumikita sa blogging? Paano kumikita sa pagbablog? So, first, ang pinaka-common sa lahat is ang advertisement. Kung nakikita mo dito sa website ko, merong advertisements ng Oishi. So, una sa header, pangalawa sa sides. And, tingnan natin, ito pa, meron pangatlo sa side pa rin. Sa baba, tingnan natin kung meron ba, um, wala na. So, ayun, meron tatlong... Um, advertisements sa main page ko. And this is actually um, pre-installed or automatic na siyang naka-install um, kapag inactivate mo yung um, advertisements. So, this one is from uh, WordPress or this is uh, a Word Ads uh, advertisement which means na hindi ko na-install yung, ano ko, yung Google AdSense. Because uh, I'm only on a premium plan, um, you can only add the um, the Google AdSense to your WordPress account if you're on a business plan. But it doesn't matter, na man. It's okay um, as long as na you're you're still monetizing your website, para naman. So that's the first uh, way of uh, earning money from your blog. The second one is sponsored posts. So ano nga ba yung sponsored post? Eto yung pagpo promote ng mga business na you will provide them uh, a spot on your website where they can post in um, their articles so that they can promote their uh, their product, their brand or their business. Uh, sila na yung bahala sa ano nila, sa article nila. Sila na yung bahala sa picture nila. Sila na yung bahala sa kanilang uh, ipapost. Basta bago nila yung ipost you will still have the uh, final look kung uh, kung paano nga ba nila ginawa yung article nila kung paano nila yung pagkaka-compose yung kung paano yung picture para makita mo kung baka mamaya ma-check mo rin kung may mga offensive ba or merong hindi magandang nasabi or may kung english man siya kung may wrong grammar ba may wrong spelling ba para at least you will still have the um the reputation di ba na Magaling yung website mo, tama yung mga grammar, tama yung spelling at maayos, walang ano, uh, walang hindi siya ano rated PG ganun. 
So, okay siya. So, eh, that's one way of earning money. So, by uh, posting uh, some or by promoting um, a business. So, like what I said, uh, they'll have a spot on your website and then they'll get the chance to uh, to post their product. And then, syempre, hindi yung libre. Sisingilin mo sila doon dapat. Kasi, ano eh, um, on your website, Pag nagsisimula ka pa lang, konti pa lang yung mga bumupunta ng website mo. Pero pag tumagal na at patuloy mong ginagawa yung pagpo-post ng mga articles, syempre maraming magiging bisita yung website mo. At kapag dumami yung naging bisita ng website mo, syempre dadami rin yung mga mga magbabasa at makakita ng articles na pinopromote mo na business. Kaya dadami rin yung possible na magiging customers nila. So, that's the second way of earning money from your website. Third one, affiliate marketing. So, ano nga ba yung affiliate marketing? So, ito yung ano, um, uh, for example, meron kang, merong isang uh, payment na, na continuous payment, like, um, I'll just show you an example, um, TubeBuddy. Ito, ang, ang TubeBuddy is, um, is an, a Google Chrome extension na which will help you check your how your YouTube account went. So for example, um it will check your analytics, it will check your subscribers, it will check how many it basically it will will teach you how to maximize your your YouTube channel. So syempre may membership sila, meron kang babayaran sa kanila. And then, kapag ikaw ay nag-refer naman n- ng, uh, ng mga friends mo or ng kahit sino by providing this link, and then kapag nag-join, maging nag-join na ibang tao, tapos ginamit yung link mo, you will get a 30% commission. So, that is affiliate marketing. Sorry, medyo naguluhan din ako sa sarili ko. So, that's it. That's, that's affiliate marketing. It's simply um, referring uh, a, a friend, uh, a co-worker, or a business, a family, or kahit na sino. Tapos, gagamitin mo yung link na binigay sa'yo ng isang business. Tapos, kapag may nag-register doon, doon ka kikita ng pera. So, like what it says here, you'll get a chance to earn 30% commission kapag kapag uh, kinlik na ito at nag-register sila. At syempre, kapag nag-afford sila or kapag nagpa-member sila. So, you can uh, you can promote that. You can create an article about that. And then, once you have that article created or, or posted on or published on your on your website, and then you have um, uh, some of your readers uh, member uh, or some of your readers ano, uh, nagpa-member sila or nag, uh, I mean, nag-avail sila then you'll get the chance to earn uh, 30% of whatever uh, the price is. So that's the third way of earning money from blogging. Fourth is through digital products. So what are what are uh, no, uh, digital products? So that are ebooks, courses, um ano ba ba? Um Marami pang iba, basta basta. Ayun. So search nyo, <laughs> search nyo na lang. Basta digital products. So like what I said, first ebooks. So you can sell ebooks um through your website. You can also um sell courses or um simply videos. So for example, gumawa ka ng training video like um for example, how to do social media marketing or how to do digital marketing, how to do blogging. Gumawa ka ng ganung ano, gumawa ka ng ganung article, tapos yung article na yun, hindi syempre, hindi siya libre. So, para ma-access yun ng mga readers mo, kailangan nilang bilin yun from your website. So, that's one way of earning uh, from your website. Uh, ano pa ba? Freelance writing. So, ito naman, hindi, basically, it's not on your own blog. So, it could be on someone else's blog. You can be an article writer, uh, you can be a copywriter, or simply, you can uh, create articles and then babayaran ka nila kung sino man ang mayari ng website. So, but syempre, ganun pa din, naka, ano siya, 
um, related kung ano yung topic na ng website na gagawan mo. So, paano ba gumawa ng website naman? Or paano gumawa ng blog? Since alam na natin kung paano yung, paano kumita ng blog, paano kumita sa blog. So, since alam na natin, ngayon, pag-aaralan naman natin kung paano gumawa ng blog. So, ang paggawa ng blog, uh, merong iba't ibang sites na pwedeng paggawa ng blog. Pero, ang domain or ang pangalan ng website, hindi siya libre. Binibili siya. Katulad nitong website ko, wearevirtualkings.com Yung wearevirtualkings, binili ko siya. Actually, ang original plan ko talaga, virtual kings lang. Kaso nga lang, um, nung bibilin ko na siya, hindi na siya available. Meron ng may-ari ng virtual kings. Pero, hindi siya ginagamit. Titingnan natin, ha. Ayan. Meron na itong may-ari, pero hindi siya ginagamit. So, let's just, so that's the reason why I just purchased uh, we are virtuous, we are virtualkings.com So, going back, paano nga ba gumawa ng website? Or paano gumawa ng blog? Dito, sa blogspot.com Blogspot.com is uh, owned by Google. So, that's the reason why dito ako gumawa ng first blog ko. It was about um, a year ago. A year, I think. Or two years ago. So, I deleted some na. But, I have multiple before. So, that's create or log out muna tayo dito wait lang ah So, gagamit tayo ng ibang email address kasi meron ng um, website na nakaano dito sa ano ko, email ko na tayo. So, gaga, gagamit tayo ng iba. Ito na lang. So, ayun. Nakasign na ako ng isang, ano ko, isang email address. So, ayun nga. Um, of course, you need to have your own email address and then um, yung website pala na pinuntahan ko kanina it's blogspot.com so ito yun um, blogspot.com ayan ito yung pinuntahan ko na website kanina, kanina this is owned by google so that's the reason why I prefer to create uh, a blog with blogspot.com then um, let's go back so let's create your blog Welcome to Blogger. Please confirm your profile. Display name. So, ano, ito yung ano natin. Kumbaga, ito yung magiging parang domain. Or kung ano yung magiging pangalan ng website natin. And ngayon, ang gusto kong pangalan ay Blue Ketchup. Tingnan natin kung libre ba siya or available ba siya. Ayun, libre siya, available siya. So, nagawa na natin ang blog. Let's check bakit wala pa. Wala yung pangalan niya dito. But, let's go ahead and um, ito, finish it. Title Create a new blog. Blogspot.com 
blue ketchup you can also add custom domain later okay Pili lang tayo ng ano, theme. Um, siguro yung pinaka-basic na lang. Ito yung pinaka-basic eh. Uh, food blog. So, ito na lang, basic na lang. Um, blue ketchup. Available siya. Check and available. Sorry, this address is not available. Hindi na siya available. So, let's think of something else. Um, say green ketchup. Okay, so available siya. Available ang green ketchup. Gawin na, lang na, gawin na din natin to Green ketchup So, ayun na. Meron na tayong blog. Pero kung pag pinuntahan mo yung blog, kung mapapansin mo yung pangalan ng website, it's greenketchup.blogspot.com. So it means na um naikigamit lang tayo ng website. Kaya, libre lang siya. So, kung gusto mo magkaroon ng sarili mong website, I highly suggest na gumawa ka through uh, WordPress. Pero, I'll just show you. So, WordPress kasi may bayad eh. So, I'll just show you how to create. We'll just simply go to web wordpress.com. Start your website. Email address. So, gamit tayo ng, ng email address na hindi ko pa nagamit. Choose a username. Um, green ketchup. Choose password. What would you like to name your website? Green Ketchup. What will your site be about? Um, food. Share ideas. Yun lang. Share ideas lang. Ay, parang may na tayo. How comfortable are you with creating your website? Beginner lang. Enter your site's name or something that's described. Um, Lami. Lami in Bisaya. Ah, or in Tagalog means masarap. Huh? Enter your site's name. Ah, site's name. Sorry. Green ketchup. So, ang green ketchup is available siya. Tingnan natin yung presyo ngayon. Huh? Ganun siya kamahal. $200 a month. $416 a month $1,166 a month nakaka-planning yung presyo niya <laughs> so ganyan siya kamahal kasi ano siya um, I think very common madaling in, madaling maalala madaling intindihin kaya ganyan yung presyo niya ganyan siya kamahal so that's how you create your website and then I'll just show you na lang and then 
So, kapag pinili mo yung premium, this is my plan with my website. Um, I'm on a premium plan. So, kapag pinili mo siya, madadirect ka na sa pagbili ng website. So, that's how you ayun yung pressure niya. So, you have to pay it in in uh in a yearly basis so i i don't know what's it says earlier but naging mura lang siya it's 4992 lang actually so this is about right ito lang din yung yata yung binayaran ko nung gumawa ko ng website ko so it's it's actually that's right So, sakto naman pala. Ewan ko lang ba't gano'n yung presyo kanina. Pero tama naman yung presyo dito. Tingnan nga natin ulit. Ay, wala na siya. Basta gano'n lang siya. That's how you, ano, that's how you create your website from your WordPress. And WordPress is very, I'll just show you na lang din. Um, so, this is my website. So, by the way, um, if you wanna learn kung ano yung mga sinabi ko kanina, andito yun, how to make money from your from blogging so just read it it's uh, it's uh, an article from my website so I'll just show you ito yung loob ng uh, ng website mo this is something that you can only access and you can only you are the only person that you can see it as well so ito yung nagsimula ako ng November 5 So if you will see sobrang konti lang talaga ng web traffic na ano na nandit na tumadating sa akin hanggang tumagal after weeks may weeks lumaki na siya I'll show you the weeks So I started November 5 and then every week nag-increase yung web traffic ko kasi eh, every day talaga akong nagpo-post o oh, or in a week siguro nagpo-post ako 8 or 9 times tapos meron lang siguro isa ah, isang araw na walang post like today wala akong post for today pero ayos lang yan Ay, basta make make sure na one day ka lang ano magmimintis tapos make sure to post at least two articles a day para swabing swabe paangat yung ano mo paangat yung traffic mo tapos eto yun that this is how you earn So, ay, hindi ko na lang sa inyo papakita how much money I'm earning from my blog. Basta, you'll have the chance to see it kapag meron na kayong sarili niyong website. So, activity, that's, it's, it's, um, your activities with your blog, how you're changing it, how you're, um, editing, or how you're, how, what, basically what you're doing. If you approve a comment, if you deleted the comment, Or if you added an article, that's all the tasks, all the activities that you are doing on your website. And then on the plan, um, of course, um, the plans, I'm on a premium plan. If I upgrade, it will cost me $17 a month. So, or another $17, $17 I mean. So, tsaka na lang, huwag na muna. Siguro kapag medyo malaki-laki na yung earnings sa website. And then side pages. Uh, basically, these are the pages that I have from my website, and then blog posts. So, eto yung ano mo? Eto yung kubang back back office mo ng ng website mo. Here you can um you can see the published. You can see how many uh, views it um it achieved, how many likes, and then how many days it's already been posted. Um, also your blogs na draft. So you can um, work it here, na, and then you can just simply have it uh, save as draft. Kung hindi ka patapos, kung pinagalan mo ano pa siya, pinagpaplanuhan mo pa siya kung paano tapusin. Trash, syempre, it's uh, your deleted ano, articles. And then media, uh, these are the videos or pictures that you have uploaded sa, mga, sa website mo. Then comments. Comment section, you can uh, approve the blog, or I, I mean, you can approve the comments. If you want to, you can um, trash them, you can um, throw them on spam. 
um, it will you can see it here on the comment section feedback um, I don't know what feedback is because I don't have or I don't haven't received any and then testimonials same actually you don't have any testimonials uh, yet portfolio as well I have no portfolio yet plugins so plugins will only be available for business plan so that's very sad it's I think um, soon very soon I'll be I'll upgrade my package to uh, business plan so import so for example um, you have a blog uh, from uh, a free website like um, this uh, so for example you started blogging sa free na website like blogger nga tapos after some time nagka pera ka na um, you can uh, import that um, your articles from that blog to your um, wordpress account para syempre mga pinaghirapan mong article yun eh diba? even though from blogger uh, I mean from yeah from blogspot.com or from blogger.com this one even though na free lang siya, you can also monetize that website. So, uh, one month or two months na kaka post mo, you can apply for uh, Google AdSense. Then, you can earn money from kahit libre lang siya na website. Basta nag drive ka ng traffic at ma approve siya ni AdSense, you can start earning money from that. So, ito yung pina paborito ko dito, yung personalize or customize your theme. So, if you press this one, this theme, um, you can select the theme that you want. Ayan. Ayan yung mga free. Ay, hindi siya, yung iba pala free. So, you can select all, you can select free, you can select the premium. Once in, you're in a premium plan, I believe you get the chance to get everything kapag premium yung plan mo. Pero kapag gano ka lang, yung basic lang, um, you doon ka lang sa mga free ang makukuha mo. Pero okay naman. Okay din naman siya. So, sorry, medyo mabilis yung pag-scroll. Um, ayan. Hinayan lang natin. Or bagalan lang natin. Ayan. So, you get the chance to see. So, yung mga theme, depende rin siya kung anong classic ang blogger. If you're a travel blogger, like this. Or you're, if you're a food blogger, uh, like this naman or um, technology or, or a business blog so there are different type of uh, no, uh, themes for different type of bloggers and then if you go inside customize so this will simply be or ito yung pinaka website mo kung ano yung napili mong theme and then kung ano yung napili mong theme pwede mo siyang paglaruan or pwede mo siyang pag-experimentuhan dito pwede mong bagu-baguhin silang lahat dito ng itsura nila and then like color background I'll show you color background I'll change it to green or, or yellow green or yellow or orange so or blue so and then change it to picture na lang but um you can change it to whatever you want so but i will not save it of course i'll have that theme i would like to have a, a very basic theme so basically that's it ito ganun lang naman talaga ganito lang yung pagbablogging it's it's very easy and um uh kung paano kumita sa pagbablog normally talaga uh, kumikita na ng malaki sa pagbablogging for within uh, two months so basta you still you just need to be consistent um, you have to do it uh, in a daily basis you need to uh, have at least two one or two article a day um, that will uh, ano naman that will and then of course you have to make sure na yung mga ginagamit mong keywords is is very ano very very common or madali siyang search and make sure to register google ano nga pangalan nito google sa ano siya sa sa pagto drive ng traffic google search console ayun google search console 
para maikita siya sa Google, maikita siya sa Pinterest. Sa Bing, di ko pa siya, ay, na-register, na, hindi ko pa nga siya na-register. But, um, it's okay. Google is, and uh, Pinterest is, will, ano na, can provide me a huge amount of income na from my website. So, that's it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you learned something from my video. Um, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Then, I'll see you on my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.